happened to you since the end of this race? What have you done? Have you gone through the analysis yet and chatted to your engineers or not? Yeah, just like normal debrief. Um, just going through it, you know, just seeing it on a computer makes it a bit a bit different. Um, gives you an idea of what what decisions they were making on the pit wall, mm. when to stop, and, and why they done it. And I think a fairly aggressive strategy for us on tyres was a bit risky, but given our performance, it wasn't just strong enough today, um, mm. and that was the only way we were going to make it work. Anything else you've learned or gleaned from your chat with the engineers that you can share with us that might enlighten the audience? Not really. I think we were where we were. Um, you know, it, it certainly showed. I think the, the work we'd done on Friday, the, the laps that we could do on the soft tyres equal to the hard tyres, it's what we, we targeted, and, and that's all that was going to be left in them. Paul, I'm surprised, to be honest with you. I, I don't know how Algus Wari got in front of you. You had a really stonking start, and you did an early pit stop, and yet he got you from, came from back of the grid. Can yeah, I mean, we had to stop quite early um, because the tyres were, were degrading very quickly. Um, we managed to stay in front of him, but when he came back up behind me, mid-stint mid stint two, um, he passed me and we came directly back to the pits to go to the primes where we thought the crossover was probably right. And after that, he just put in you know, some good laps and managed to extend his run quite a bit up the road um, and genuinely beat us on speed. Um, I think he was probably fortunate to get where he got in the first lap in terms of what happened and, and get right behind me because he was, you know, six, six places, seven places behind me and, you know, that doesn't normally happen. Um, but, you know, they had good speed today. Oh, well, you're now a veteran of just over half a Grand Prix season. What is, what is different in your approach now when you go into these flyaways at the end of the year that, you know, you, you simply weren't prepared for in Australia? What's the biggest experience that you've now got? Apart from obviously the laps out there on track, but in terms of working with engineers, the understanding the car. Um, I'm actually looking forward to getting away again. I think, you know, sometimes they're a bit quiet. You can, it can be a bit more focused, but at the same point, they're all going to be new tracks to me. So there, there's a lot of learning to be done. I know it's going to be a tough fight. You know, we're going to be under pressure to try and beat Sauber in the Constructors' Championship. So there's going to be added from that, but um, genuinely just working with the team um, and making sure, you know, we do the best job possible. And, um, you know, there's, there's quite a few races coming up that are going to be important to us equally with the up and coming Indian Grand Prix um, you know it's a brand new Grand Prix so hopefully that should help me a little bit in terms of it's new to everybody and uh, we'll gain a bit of advantage from that there are any corners and straights at the end of the day in different order but today how confident were you that you could keep Senna behind you in the closing stage there he was, he was catching you fast wasn't he he was catching quick um, the team said you know just just carry on the pace you've got they were keeping me informed what he was doing he, he had a different tyre choice to me, so he was on the options at the end. We were prime, and I think the delta between them was what it w was. What it was. Um, I think it would have been tough to keep them behind, given that their straight line speed advantage they had over us this weekend, um, again, would have proved difficult. Um, but, you know, we've, um, we've scored four points, and, and that's what we came here to do. Paul, if you can remember the second last lap, because I was watching with great interest what this little battle could be, and uh, you lost two and a half seconds. Was that an error on your behalf or was just outright speed from Jaime? Because it seems such a big amount of time to lose. On the second last lap, mm. I, that was um, Jensen Budding came up behind me and I had to let him through. Um, he had the blue flag lights on in the car and I had blue flags on track. And, you know, I don't want to get in the way of the, at the front. Um, I knew there was a bit of a gap to Senna and, you know, that was well, well within the reach of staying in front of him until the end of the last lap. And being lapped, of course, helped you in that position mm. because then the lap was brought forward an early interesting point we should talk about at some stage where the yeah. lapping actually can be an advantage. Yes. Uh, while we've been talking to you, uh, Nico Helkenberg walked behind and into the track. Who do you think would be your teammate at Force India next year? Will you be at Force India next year? Nothing. You know, the, the team have said that they won't come out until December and say what the driver lineup December. is, um, which is quite late. Um, I'm just focusing on the job I've got to do at the moment. You know, there's people in the background that do that kind of work for me and um, you know that that's what they're there to do I'm there to drive the car and I'll continue just trying to make the best the best job possible job until then um, and see what it leads to um, but you know the, the first Grand Prix season is always difficult and you need to make a name for yourself and I'm just going to keep hopefully building a long-term future with Force India. It leaves a bit of uncertainty though doesn't it you'll be driving around in Brazil wondering if this is your last hurrah at Force India would you rather that it was sorted out now and you knew you were in the car for next year and you could focus on that? I think in hindsight you always do, you would always push for that, um, but I'm, I'm fairly relaxed about it, what will be will be, um, it's out with my decision, you know, there's people there and 
there's different reasons why it happens. Um, I just hope I've done enough to help the team and, and done a good enough job in their eyes for this season. Um, you know, I've tried to do the best job and extract as much as possible. Paul, you look so relaxed to me. I have a fair good idea, like everyone else watching, you know where you're going to be driving next year, so I wouldn't, we won't go too far into that. No. So we'll wait and see, but we already believe we know the answer. Yeah. Well done. Listen, we've kept Thank you in you the sun much. long enough. That looks nice and cool, and I'm sure there's all kinds of nice drinks and food in there, so we'll let you go back in. Wish there was air conditioning in the paddock. We'll see you later on. Thank you. All right, see you right in Singapore, Paul. Paul. Congratulations. Well done to you. Right, Fernando Alonso finished on the podium. A lovely moment, wasn't there?